here. I'm the Secret Slob. I am doing a 21 day massive decluttering project and today is day seven. So I hope you have joined me and decluttered along with me or at least found some stuff to throw away and I already have a really nice pile going. So today, you're probably wondering what this is. Today is day seven and it's part two of our clothing purge declutter. So today I'm gonna hit outerwear. And as I've mentioned before, I live in Northern Canada, so we are not short on jackets. Like, <laughs> these are just my jackets and my kids' jackets. You guys, this pile is huge, like. <sighs> so anyways, I have a lot of jackets. So I wanna purge through these because I know I have too many. You can really only wear one at a time, and I definitely need multiple jackets because the temperature here where I live ranges from like plus 30 degrees Celsius, so I think that's around 90 degrees Fahrenheit, to minus 30 or even minus 40 degrees Celsius, which is really cold. We have every season here, so I need all the jackets, but not this many, this is too many. My kids are also becoming jacket hoarders, mostly because of me, so I'm gonna get rid of a couple of theirs, and I know some friends who have kids younger than mine, I can pass them on to, and they'll love that. And my husband also has way too many jackets, but I am being strong today and following my rule number one, and that is do not declutter other people's stuff. It's, it's just not, it's not okay. I'd be really upset if someone decluttered my stuff, so I'm not gonna touch his even though, oh, he has some awful stuff and I really wanna throw it away, but maybe I'll talk to him tonight and see if he's, I'll just say, hey, I'm taking a load to the thrift store. Do you still want this? disgusting item <laughs> and he might he might let, let it go okay so I'm gonna go through my jackets right now I already feel a little sad but that's okay I know I don't need this many jackets here I go ten dollars this is my minus 30 degree sweater or jacket look at this thing I honestly don't wear it that much, but when it's like minus 40, <laughs> I need this so bad. So I will never throw it away and it's really expensive. It's really nice down jacket. So even though this one doesn't get worn that much, when you live where I live, you need a jacket like this. So I'm keeping that one. And this is awesome. This is a sweater my mom made for me. So if you're from Canada, you probably recognize it right away or from BC especially, or you live through the 70s. <laughs> this is a Cowichan sweater. My mom knit it for me. It's massive <laughs> and it's super ugly, but it's like my fire jacket and I wear it when I go camping and I wear it around the fire, so. That I have to keep, plus my mom made it, come on. My old snowboarding jacket, which has seen its last runs, I think. Time to pass that one along to a good home. So the nice thing about having two girls is everything gets used twice. So we have hand-me-downs for a while. That's cute, but you know what? I think I'm gonna pass that along. And this is her spring jacket. And this one is one that was lent to me from a friend and now she's having another girl. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I'm gonna send this back to her. Okay, so I have my bin of jackets to either go to the thrift store or go to a friend or just leave our lives. I've kept my jackets that I need, that I use all the time. I've kept my kids' jackets that I use and the jackets that, and I've kept the jackets for the littler one to use mm -hmm. next year. And so that's it, that's jackets. So, the next step of outerwear, I'm gonna go downstairs where I keep my boots and my mitts and my outdoor shoes and I'm gonna purge through all of those. So, first I'll put these jackets away and then I'll go downstairs. Okay, so here is my insanely massive collection of shoes and boots and yeah, same thing, we have four very distinct seasons here, fall, spring, winter, summer, and you really do need a lot of footwear, um, but that doesn't mean I need this much footwear, and I can already see stuff that I know I don't wear, and stuff that my kids have outgrown. So I'm gonna sort through this, and I've got a nice bag here, 
and I can take the stuff I'm not using to the thrift store and I know someone will really, really uh, love some of these boots because some of them are really nice. So, I'm going to sort through that right now. So for these, I'm never throwing these away. They were my daughter's first shoes. Mm -hmm. So, those are special. Okay, that bag is full. Bag two. Check out this one. <laughs> it's for when it's really cold. Have I mentioned it's really cold here all the time? It's really cold here. Okay, so that didn't take long, and I have one, two, and then a little one here, three bins of shoes and boots to be given away, go to the thrift store, etc. So I'm keeping a couple, put them in their special box um, from when they were babies. And otherwise, I basically just have the stuff that I'm wearing. So even though it feels like I have a lot less, it doesn't feel like I have any less, but apparently I have a lot less. So that worked out really great. Um, so coats and jackets and boots and shoes. Um, if you have time today, get after it. It's a perfect time. If it's spring where you live, you're starting to do the changeover, you can put some winter boots away, decide that maybe some aren't going to last another year, get rid of them. Pull your mud boots out if you live in a small town that gets muddy like mine. And just start deciding what you want to keep and what you just don't need anymore. Hopefully you're able to have a couple big bins like I have. Okay, have a wonderful day. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.